Good morning, guys. Uh, Top War released their new Heroes information, and you know it's their first little rundown here that you see on the screen. But I just wanted to give a few thoughts on what I think. It's obviously a Navy Heroes Zen. It's been kind of advertised as an alternative to Crimson Typhoon, and I could see how that works, being an HP Navy hero. There are some differences, but depending on how you want to use them, but I think Zen is definitely an upgrade over Crimson, especially if you're going to use with uh, Gypsy or Poe. The, uh, the preparation skill, the HP enhancement is better than Crimson's. You know, the 65% is greater than what you got from Crimson. I think that was around 53%. The active skill is also better in the sense that you get uh, three attacks that do 130% damage. With Crimson, I think you got three that do around 115 or so, 110, 115, something like that. So there is an upgrade there. And then uh, the abnormal status effect, it gives a 10% damage increase here. And I think Crimson's does 20 and applies to, uh, you know, you could stack it up to 60%. It doesn't say here if you can stack this effect and if so, what the maximum would be. So that would be something to look at. The uh, passive skill is very different than Crimson's passive skill. Zen gives uh, two enemies vulnerable you know, 15%, which is basically a damage increase on those two enemies. And it could happen on every attack from a naval unit. There's a chance it happens. Crimson gave you heavy armor of like 50% for uh, all your naval units. And it was a, uh, that basically reduced skill damage that the enemy did to you. So it was more of a defensive skill. Not to say one's better than the other, because there are certain situations where I'm sure it's ha you're happy to have that. But if you look at the top right, you'll see the uh, the skill effects here. You know, increasing the skill. Level 3 is standard. Level 5, you're going to increase the abnormal status, and you're going to increase the number of vulnerable effect you put on people. So that would make that more vulnerable that you're putting out there which is very helpful especially with gypsy and poe whose skill attack is magnified or you know amplified when you hit uh people with vulnerable at level seven if you get that far it increases the abnormal effect by another 20 percent. so now it's up to 50 percent, and you get two more active skill attacks so at this, you know, at level five, Crimson gets one more active skill attack, so that might balance some of that out. And at, but at, at level seven, he gets two. I think if you're using Crimson with Gypsy or with Poe, you would want to switch to Zen definitely, because the uh, the vulnerable stacks are going to be very helpful to them, and increase the damage they do with their skill attack. If you're using Crimson with Storm and uh, you know, then I'm not sure if the effect is as big because uh, Storm's Stormroy's uh, silent precision effect is magnified by damage reduction shields, so that made her go well with Crimson. So that may not be as effective here with uh, Zen. So I think if you're using Stormroy, you might want to keep using Crimson Typhoon. But if you're going to use Gypsy or Poe, I think Zen would be the better fit. That's my two cents without actually seeing the hero live in game or anything, just based on the description. Again, guys, I try to do this stuff to give some information, and I know a lot of people ask me these questions, so I try to answer them here. And that way I can, you know, share the video with whoever needs the answer. So, you know, please like, subscribe, help me out. You know, we're getting, we're pushing into triple-digit subscribers now, so... Please help me out, guys. Appreciate it.